Hi everyone, it is Miss O'Neill here and today is a good day to have a good day. We are going ahead with our foundations lesson today. We are on unit 13, week two, hi Jake, days two and three. We are going to start off with a little bit of review up at the top. Then we are talking about our word of the day today. We are going to do some homophone practice and then I'm going to talk to you about your assignment for when this video is all over, okay? We um, have a full review day tomorrow on Wednesday and on Thursday we are going to have a foundations test, okay, on unit 13 and even going back to unit 12 when we were talking about um, what you call it? When we were talking about that OI and OY for coin and boy. All right, just a quick little vowel team review. We'll talk more about that tomorrow, don't worry. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the five options that we have for long O sounds. We're going to just write them down in whatever order we want to over here, and then we're going to organize them in the chart after we have all five sounds down. So, let's go ahead. Hi, Jake, what are you eating? Oh, plastic is yummy, huh? You're such a silly dog. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. Five long O sound options, so go ahead at your TV, at your tablet, your phone, your laptop, whatever you're watching this on, give me one option that we have for an O sound. Okay, go ahead and give me a different option that we have for an O sound. Give me a third. Give me a fourth. And give me one more, the last one. Might be a little tricky, but you got this. Awesome, cool. So here are the options that we have. I want you to keep track, keep score. Tell me how many you got right, okay? So the first one that we have, remember this is in no order, um, the first thing that I think of is a long O sound, just right off the top, like at the word no or go, long O. We also have O dash E, like in the word home. And then we have our three vowel team sounds over here. We have O A, like in the word boat. We have O E, like in the word tow. And then we have O-W, like in the word snow. All right, here are our five options. Let's go ahead and sort them over here. Oops. O-E, is that going to be at the beginning or middle of a syllable or a word or at the end? Think of our example word. No. N-O, no. Wonderful, that's going to be at the end. Ooh, that's my shoulder. All right, so go ahead and cross that one off. What about O dash E? Like in the word home, is that going to be the beginning slash middle or is that going to be at the end? O M home. It's going to be in the beginning or middle. Because we have that long O sound in the middle of the word O, M, home, even though we have an E at the end. So O dash E goes over here. Cross it out. Awesome. What about O A, like in the word boat? B, O, T, boat. Beginning, middle, or the end? Wonderful. That's going to be the beginning or middle. B O T boat. What about the vowel team O E? O E, is that going to be at the beginning, middle, or is that going to be at the end? Beginning, middle, or end? T O 
toe. Awesome, that's going to be at the end. T oh, you hear that oh sound at the end. Then our last one, this one is our trick one. O W. O W. This one is actually going to be both, if you can believe it. It's going to be at the beginning, middle, and then it's also going to be at the end. Usually it appears at the end, like in the words snow or bow or tow, like a tow truck. Um, but sometimes it can be in the middle, like in the word grown. Like, wow, that plant has grown really, really fast. All right, and that takes care of our review. Just really quickly, let's go ahead and scratch that out. And let's double check with our pretty chart to make sure we are correct. And that looks all the way okay to me. Wonderful, awesome job. We're done with our review, so now we're moving on to word of the day. I know a lot of you know this, but I used to teach preschool um, when I first had my teaching degree before I came to St. Peter's. So I had a word of the day song for them and it would go, our word of the day, our word of the day. I wonder what it will be, our word of the day. I always think it's really fun to sing sometimes. Or maybe I'm just going crazy in my house because all I do is talk to Jake all day. Isn't that right, Jake? You're just looking at me like, you crazy lady. All right, our word of the day is the word foamy, foamy, okay? Like, this drink is so foamy at the top. Or be careful, that soda's really foamy. You don't want it to spill everywhere. Foamy. Tap it out with me. Oh. Mmm. Foam. Foam. E. We have a suffix there at the end. Okay, and that suffix turns this word foam. Oh. Mmm. Turns the word foam into, what do you think? A verb or an adjective? A describing word, an adjective, or an action word, a verb? Yeah, it's gonna turn it into an adjective here. All right, let's see. Here are our, our beginning and middle options. What do you think is going to be the right way to spell foam for the word foamy? Do you recognize the right spelling? Nice, cool if you didn't, cool if you didn't. It is O-A, O-A. Awesome, let's go ahead and mark this word up together. First thing we have to do is we have to underline the base word and circle the suffix. So we have our base word all ready to be marked up. We just circled the suffix, so now we leave it alone. Foam. What kind of syllable is the word foam? Nice, it is a double vowel syllable, so the only thing that we have to do here is circle that double vowel team. Wonderful. Can you give me a sentence with the word foamy in it? Can you give me a sentence with the word foamy in it? Awesome, that sounds like a great sentence. Cool beans, we are moving right along. You're doing an awesome job here. Remember, you don't have to write this down. You don't have to mark it up. All right, homophones. Let's go ahead and talk about them. Homophones, remember our, our two words that sound the same but mean two different things. Go ahead and be my echo here. Homophones. 
are two words that sound the same but mean two different things. Awesome, wonderful. So let's write the word toe, okay? And I'm going to leave this up here for a second. Let's go ahead and write the word toe. T, t, o, o, t, o, toe. There are two ways that I could spell the word toe here. So I'm just focusing on my double vowel teams right now. Homophones are two words that sound the same but mean two different things. This word up here says t o toe, and this word down here says t o toe. Do you know which spelling is used for the word that means to pull something? Like a tow truck? Awesome. It's this one down here. And do you know which spelling is used for the word that means something on your foot? Awesome. It's this first one up at the top here. That's the one we have on our um, sound card. Awesome. So remember, another way, if you're not sure, if you don't recognize the spelling right off the top of your head, is to go ahead and take a look at a dictionary. You can ask any um, assistant that you have at home. And when I say assistant, I don't mean like a secretary. I mean um, a Google or Siri or Alexa. Um, any one of those. You could ask an adult. You could ask a sibling. Many different options here. If we had our student notebooks, we could go ahead and look at our spelling options to see if we're on the right track or not, and then we could also look at one of our classroom dictionaries to see if the answer is in there. All right, let's do one more before we talk about our, what you call it, assignment for today. All right, we're going to spell the word groan. Groan. Are you ready? G, g, er, o, n. Groan, four taps. G, g, g. G, g, er, er. O. What are our two double vowel team options? It's o, A, O, O. G, er, O. G, er, O. N. N. Wonderful. Do you recognize which spelling is used for the word that means um, it is a little bit taller or maybe a little bit older? Nice, it's the one at the bottom, like a grown up or um, that plant has grown. What about the spelling that is used for the word that means kind of like an angry voice sound or a sad voice sound. Nice. This one at the top, a groan. Ugh. Groan. Awesome, you did an amazing job. Let's go ahead and erase these really quickly, take this off, and let's talk about our assignment for today. The assignment that I have for you today is all about choosing the correct homophone. You're going to use long O options, like in the words groan, in the word toe. You're going to be using long A sound options, like in the word pale, or in the word tail. You're also going to be using long E options, like in the word meat, or in the word weak. Lots of review here, I'm super excited. What you're going to do is read the sentence and choose the choice that makes the most sense to you. If you recognize the right spelling, awesome. If you don't, go ahead and use any of the options we talked about earlier. 
Awesome. Love you a lot. Miss you a bunch. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.